Hello and welcome everybody, this is your Zero Rock, and here's the time for another episode, let's play Banjo-Kazooie! In the last episode, well, we started, uh, Mad Monster Mansion, this is, on this gloomy day, we're going to continue Mad Monster Mansion, kind of fitting, um, actually it's not really gloomy, it's kind of, uh, let's just put it this way, I kind of, I kind of got into, uh, uh, this, this has not been a good day for me. Not, as far as good days go, as far as, uh... This isn't bad, it's, it's not like a bad day like in what most people would have as a bad day. That, pretty much for me, for, pretty much for me if one... I'm, I'd be lucky if one thing interesting happened all day. Um, and yeah, that happened to be something that kind of got bad and just kind of gave me a put me in a bad mood, and, uh, so, yeah, uh, so, but what I tried to do is I tried to get out of this bad mood, I tried to get out of this funk, and, uh, there we go, killing this guy, and, uh, so, the thing, so, uh, what I did, I started looking at my website that I go to frequently on my, uh, um, you know, website, websites I go to, pretty much websites the most everyone goes to. That guy with the glasses, blistered thumbs, uh, YouTube, checking out what I had subscribed to. And, uh, <clears throat> I went into, uh, the Spoon, the Spoon Experiment, which, mo which I'm sure most of y'all know is the, uh, main website of the Spoonie One. He was probably one of my favorite, uh, reviewers. And he's, yeah, and he, uh, he does this thing called, uh, Counter Monkey. Uh, which is like basically telling interesting stories about his role playing experiences. Um, ouch. Um. Yeah. Um, uh, so yeah, these. Yeah, you can't step on the thorn bushes. <coughs> like I said last episode. Um. And that really sucks. Um, but anyway. He updated, he updated today, um, two episodes, uh, two episodes, I'm pretty sure both of these today, uh, cause I'm, pretty certain I, I checked it yesterday, I'm not entirely sure, I could, I could be wrong there, um, but, uh, there we go, made it just in time, and, uh, his, his updates today were about LARPing, which for those of you who don't know, LARPing is shorthand for live action role play. Which is a form of role playing that is in real life. So I kind of think of like acting, except except uh, without the uh, without the hookers and blow. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm kidding about that one, unless you're uh, Charlie Sheen or Robert Downey Jr. Then it's just uh, straight up straight up cocaine. <laughs> uh, I I need to stop picking on actors, and actually, actually, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is an actor I like, so, <laughs> technically, I could, I could keep, uh, I could keep making fun because he's someone I like, so it's like, hey, everyone makes fun of that. Uh, yeah, it kind of makes you wonder, it kind of makes you wonder how he got the part of Iron Man, and for those of you wondering what I mean by that, <laughs> read the comics. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyway, uh, Spoonie's, back to what I was saying, Spoonie's, uh, Spoonie's, uh, current episodes about LARPing really got me thinking about my time with my LARP. Kill that guy. And crap. I gotta go around and get that again. Um, and I, sh I shouldn't say I had LARPs. I did pretty much... Well, me, what me and my three other friends did was pretty much lower than even that. We didn't, we didn't, do, we didn't do have any rules. We didn't use foam swords. We used real swords. <clears throat> but we made sure to keep our distance from each other whenever we were swinging them around. Um, and what we did mostly is we pretty much to just told a story. Um, so like I said, it was me and three other friends, and I gotta, I gotta go ahead and tell you something about these friends. Uh, aside from one of them, the other two aren't very smart. Um, actually, I, should, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say it like that, because they're... Well, one of them, one of them is actually is actually kind kind of smart when she wants to be. She doesn't come off as a 
know it all prints about nothing about everything she knows nothing about. Um, and there, there I go ranting. I guess I should probably stop that. Um, but um, and we can't kill that guy. He's gonna keep following us. Crap! Hey, being possessed. As many of all, many of y'all probably remember from Earthbound. Let's play. Hey, um, still. <laughs> hey, uh, I found a way to get some in there. Yay! Anyway, um, so, well, uh, let me go ahead and tell you something, a little something about my, about these friends. Um, I believe I've already talked about one of them. His name was Steve. His name is Steven. Uh, currently he's in the army. So yeah, technically you could say that's the greatest role-playing job of all. Real life. Um, <laughs> uh. Don't don't worry. He's not. In, he's not like in no. He's not. Uh, no, he's in, he's in the military, not army. I think that's a army is a branch of, branch of military. If I'm correct about that. Um. But um, he's in like so, like uh, computer like computer programming. And here we get Mozart or Mozart, parody of Mozart. <laughs> um. Anyway. He, he's the smart one. He's not the smart one. Me, I'm pretty smart. He's pretty much... He, he's, he's, he's building... He's fixing computer problems for... Uh, he's fixing computer problems for the army. So what did I tell you about him? <laughs> I mean, he's much smarter than me. Um, yeah, he, he's usually a level head. He's the one that keeps control... He's, he's the one that keeps the group under control and keeps us from doing, like, perverted stuff. Uh, from deteriorating from the story, and when I say perverted stuff, I mean, no, let's put it this way, the other two, whose, na whose names I'll be getting into late, in a second, were very, are very, uh, <laughs> stuck in the gutter kind of people, head, head in the gutter. Um, so for those of you who don't know what that means, that basically means anything that you say can be interpreted as, as perverse to them, and they will giggle and laugh at that without remorse. Um, and, uh, that brings us up to our next our next player in this large, her, her name is Charlotte. She's been one of my best friends since, like, second grade. And, uh, she kind of knew all, everyone else through me. <laughs> so I was kind of like, I was kind of, I guess you could say the ring, the ring that connected the chain of this group. And, um, She's she's a writer. She actually got me into uh, pen and paper role playing, not like uh, not like the role playing games like Dungeons and Dragons, like actual just writing it out and writing stories back and forth to each other responses. Um, which is funny because I can't get her. I uh, try as I might, I can't get her into Dungeons and Dragons. You'd think that you'd love something like that, seriously. Um, anyway, I, I'm there. Go going on a tangent, and it's about the same person again. Yeah, that kind of tells you how. Our relationship is. It's very stressful for me. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, but I, I keep I keep a happy face and get this one up to make sure we're happy. Yay! And we can't get any more than nine. Uh, that's scary. <laughs> um, anyway, um, she's she's perverted, but she's not like nearly as much as the next next guy who. Uh, Let's, let's put it this way. I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and say his, his, his name is Jake. Uh, we used to hang out, but he's someone that I know. I, as far as I know, no one wants to hang out with him anymore because he's just become such a great a jerk that no that no one can stand him anymore. And I totally understand why because I don't, I'm surprised I ever put up with him. And uh, so yeah, we got a jerk. We got an artist, and a perverse artist, and we got a smart guy, and we got me, whatever I am, in this group together, and uh, so we start, we start LARPing with swords, which I'm actually surprised we gave uh, Jake a sword, considering what he would do with it, and though I said, though I said he was perverse, he wouldn't do that with it, he's not that stupid. But he would probably swing it at us and try to decapitate one of us. And he'd be an idiot about it, by the way. <laughs> um, so yeah, again, 
I can't stand the guy. Don't hang out with him anymore. Um, but anyway, our, our story is, well, nothing too extreme. I mean, definitely nothing nearly as good as the Spoony One's stories. Uh, right here we get a witch witch. Yay! <coughs> Which is all I wanted to get. Um, we, did, we did start, we did start off, we did like three times. We did it once a week for three weeks. And then just kind of it fell apart from there. Um, basically, basically the main thing is, like I said, Stephen kept us all in, all together and kept us all in focus and on task and kept us from like being at each other's throats from being pissed off at how stupid this whole thing was. Being overpowered, basically. Like, uh, let's put it this way. Uh, Jake would keep getting powers one after the other. Inexplicably, all these awesome powers that, you, you, you know, uh, the best way I can put it is, uh, if you watch South Park, that one episode where they all pretended to be ninja, ninja samurai, and Carmen kept saying, oh, wait, I have another power yet. Yeah, oh, you guys, uh, and basically stuff like, yeah, basically it was that. We stuck, we, uh, we didn't stick up, we didn't, we didn't set him up to only use one power. We, uh, we actually, quote unquote, built him a character. Uh, in fact, if we had, if we were doing, like, a tabletop art roleplay, it would have been just like that. <laughs> uh, we'd have gotten the sheet, pen and paper, and built him a character right then and there. Uh, but we didn't have, we didn't do that. We just kind of just played for fun. Uh, we didn't really build any characters, and... I think all of us kind of start going, I think we all got to the point, like, okay, we can only have, like, three powers, and you can't have all the power, you can't have the power to have all the powers in the world, it has to be, like, actual powers, none of that fake crap, like, oh, I'm gonna have every power, like, uh, yeah, and, if, and uh, fortunately, he has, he has, Drake has, has the decency not to push it there, he, knew, he, he wasn't, uh, as as dumb as I say he was, he wasn't quite that stupid. Though, trust me, you wouldn't have been able to tell otherwise. <laughs> so we actually built him a built him a character. Um, actually, if I remember correctly, he's actually pretty good. Uh, he's like a shadow assassin character. It's pretty. It seemed pretty fun. I wish uh, I wish we had written it down because that would have been a fun character to uh, play. And um. <coughs> And so he had basically one of his, he basically had a power to step through, like step in the shadows and go invisible, and uh, a bunch of other, ouch, uh, but uh, a few other cool things like that. Uh, me, I don't, I don't think I, I don't think my character had any powers, what he relied on. Um, basically, basically, let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about my character. Uh, he comes from a uh, uni from a universe in one of my stories, where uh, basically it's animal human. For anthropomorphic human, anthropomorphic animal humans versus regular humans. Um, so yeah, basically it's furries versus non-furries. <laughs> um, yay! Pick your side today. There's plenty of people on both sides. Um, actually, before we go in there, I'm pretty sure I missed a mumbo token somewhere. Oh well. Uh, we actually don't need to go in there quite yet. Uh, I kind of jumped the gun there. Um, anyway, like I said. Um, like I said, my ca my character didn't have any powers. Well, he he, he was a uh, I go ahead, I go ahead and say his, his name. This ca this character of mine, his name is Saber. Um, yes, as in the sword, <laughs> as in the sword. Uh, we don't we can't do anything in there yet, at least not to my knowledge. Um, and uh, basically, he he doesn't have. In my, in my, in my, uh, in my face, in my world, there is ma there's magic powers, everyone has magic powers, or not everyone, but there, there are, um, there's a mage class, uh, kind of think of like World of Warcraft, some, something like that, and actually, um, this is one of the game. this is one of the stories I want to convert to an, to an MMO one day, <laughs> uh, <coughs> um, and real quick one thing, this, this is off topic, for the uh, LARPing, but there's a, as far as RPGs go, this world, this world would have three factions, uh, more of them would be, a, would be animal humans, the other would be human, the other would be humans, 
And third would be uh, machines. Whoa, crap. What the? Holy! Holy testosterone, Batman! These things creep me out! Kill them! And there we go. And don't fall. Last thing you need to do is have you fall. Jump! Jump! There! Woo. Okay! Ah! Oh! Really? Oh, okay, so we could... <laughs> Freaked out over nothing. Um... So I saw that, yeah, I saw that crack and thought that was something. Um, that's pretty neat. What's over? Let's see what's behind the fourth wall. Yeah, go figure. It's an audience. <laughs> oh, bad joke. Um, anyway, back to the subject at hand. Um, I played a Saber, and Saber doesn't really have any, any unique abilities. But he focuses more on his martial arts abilities. So, basically, I had to come up with some sword moves. Um... Let's see, I'm trying to think. Um, you see, the thing, the thing about the, in the, uh, the human faction, my story was more, were more technology based. Uh, okay, so we can't fit in this style. Let's see if we can ground pound it. Or beat, drill it. Um, there we go. Um, <coughs> but anyway. Like I said, like I said, uh, the humans are more technology based. Now you can still find ma ma uh, mage like humans, magic humans, but they're they're more rare. The beast people were more magic based. They're more tribe based, uh, which is actually kind of ironic because they're also part machine. Um, what, I, what I mean by that is that they had like orga they had organic systems that seemed almost mechanical. Like they could have like metal arm blades come out of their bodies. Um, yeah, this is, this is the world of fantasy, so yeah, get, get over it. <laughs> um, and, anyway, like I said, Saber, Saber didn't have any real, uh, any real magic. Most of it comes, most of it comes from his martial arts prowess, his, mar his martial skills, his swordsman skills. So, we had to kind of develop abilities around that, and, um, I had this, um, uh, this toy mega, this, uh, Toy Transformer, it was, it was the uh, Megatr Megatron uh, Classic, you know, the Nerf Gun Megatron that everyone seems to complain about, which, by the way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go on a off tangent here real quick. i got to ask you guys something. Would you rather have Nerf Gun with Wings Megatron or Trigger Crotch Megatron, which, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the original, which, if you look at the original toy, the trigger was right at his crotch. <laughs> it looked goofy. When I first saw that toy, because I, I wanted Megatron as a... I, I wanted the Megatron toy when I was a kid. Uh, when I first saw that toy, I laughed when I finally first saw it. Because I, ne I never saw... I, I grew up in the era of Beast Wars. So I never really saw the uh, Megatron toy. I never saw any of the original toys. In fact, the only uh, Transformer toys I had, I had was uh, Jazz and uh, Optimus Prime. Which, whom's, with whom's uh, head actually got frozen... In the pool and broke and uh, shattered. So I had a headless Optimus Prime. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, kind, kind of awkward there. It was kind of awkward right there. <coughs> um, so yeah, as you can tell, we're a pumpkin and we can't do anything. Um, anyway, uh, like I was saying, like I was saying, I had the toy, I had the toy uh, Megatron gun, the, new, the New one, like I said before, the, nerf, the one that looked like a Nerf gun, which I actually prefer that one over the the regular realistic looking one. Um, just me, just me personally. Um, and uh, so I had that, and I was gonna say, okay, this is gonna be how I do my magic attacks. And at first we we're gonna say, no, we can't really do that because it's not fair to everyone else. And I'm like, well, you guys have magic attacks. Saber doesn't really have magic attacks. It's like, okay, we can use that, and you can use that like your. Uh, your special weapon, so he did that. Um, Steven was was his. Uh, <laughs> how should I how should I say this? He he, he had his own story as well about this. It's kind of like loosely referenced in a, it was not referenced. It was uh, based heavily in the fire, around Fire Emblem as far as like the story elements go. Uh, you know, multiple armies of people and people doing stuff. 
Um, happy landings, little one. Oh boy. Getting flushed down! <clears throat> NCS reference in 3, 2, 1. In the bathroom! <coughs> okay. And a. Ah, crap! What the hell? Ah! Tendrils! <laughs> I want my mommy! I want my mommy! Okay, anyway. <laughs> that horrible experience out of the way. Yeah, let's see where we There we go. And there we go. Just tricking them out. Um, anyway. <coughs> um. <coughs> 